guys um welcome to this video i'm not really going to show my face in this video so this is just going to be my intro just me with a voiceover of my thumbnail so you know this is what i eat in a week i hope you guys really enjoy it i just wanted to say that i filmed the first half of this video using like a like megaphone effect on my voice to try and make it like aesthetically pleasing but then i got annoyed with it um halfway through so it just changed into my normal voice so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy the video so Monday was the first day, and since I was filming this video, I was literally constantly thinking about food, which normally I do not, so I think I may have overeaten a little bit. <laughs> For breakfast, I had a slice of toast with some badly spread avocado, scrambled eggs, and a little bit of fried rice, and a weirdly small part of a meat patty. To top it off, I also had a strangely small amount of orange juice. At 11, I got hungry again and suffered a random craving for yogurt, so I went downstairs and ate some strongly artificial flavored cherry yogurt with cereal because I only eat yogurt if it's also with cereal. Lunch was leftover white rice from last night, homemade teriyaki chicken, and some bamboo shoots. If you've never had bamboo shoots, you should really try them. They're so good. I've eaten so many at this point that I'm probably part panda. Then immediately after lunch, I washed some grapes for the family and my mom told me that washing them in water mixed with flour would make them really clean and shiny. So I tried that for the first time and honestly, not gonna lie, these grapes were truly beautiful. Like what highlight are they using? Cause they be popping. Look at them, they're so pretty. And then this is just a clip of the flour left over on my fingers after I washed the grapes. I ate dinner with my dad at the counter because my mom and sister went to Marshall's while I was sleeping. Um, can you tell I'm crying right now? But uh, it's fine. I had some more white rice. You'll be seeing that a lot this week. And my dad stir fried tofu with sausage, which is really just the reality of being a Chinese family living in America, to be honest. And there was also a leftover dish from last night that I didn't eat, but it was there. So I felt like it deserved a little screen time. Just like the grapes, I immediately ate this refrigerated mandarin after dinner because I eat fruit as a dessert a lot. By the way, these little tangerines taste way better refrigerated. Then later that night, I got really hungry, um, as you can tell from the LED lights, and it's probably because the jelly-like consistency of tofu really is not that filling. So I ate this, and I apologize to the country of France and my 8th grade French teacher in advance, Pet au Chocolat. That's not a croissant. It's a pet au chocolat. To finish off the night, I ate a bag of Skinny Pop, which was honestly totally flavorless and kind of reminded me of what like the styrofoam packing peanuts would taste like, but I finished it anyways. And that was the end of Monday. My Tuesday breakfast was a Chinese green onion pancake thing, except there's nothing like an American's pancake. So I'm not really sure if I should be calling it a pancake, but I don't really know how else to describe it. On top, I spread some Chinese brand hot sauce that has a bit of like a sweet taste. It's so good. And then again with the OJ. And then I also ate four strawberries just to get some fruit into my system to be a little healthier. For lunch, I made the family teriyaki udon noodles. Udon? Ud I don't know how to pronounce that. Udon noodles, which come in a pack of four little packs from Costco. And I also made an egg on top of it just because um, the noodles by themselves seemed like a little plain. And then I, I did slightly burn the vegetables on the noodles, as you can see, but let's just ignore that. And then afterwards, I ate a single strawberry just to cleanse the oily teriyaki flavor from my mouth. And then in the afternoon, I got a little hungry, so I ate a bowl of grapes, which were not as beautiful as the grapes from Monday, but you know, it's whatever. And then I ate another bag of the Styrofoam Peanut Skinny Pop popcorn. For lunch, I had some like dried meat. I'm not sure if it was like beef or pork, but it was, you know, stir fried with the cauliflower. And then my dad um, stir fried more sausage with some celery and like it was spicy, obviously, as you can see. And then obviously I also had a bowl of white rice with it. And then that night, my mom came back from the Asian supermarket and bought like these pineapple little cake pastry thingies. So I ate one of those. It was pretty good, but my favorite are the strawberry flavored ones. It's like pastry-y, crumbly on the outside and then like chewy a little bit. Okay, we have reached Wednesday and I kind of got sick of like the whole um aesthetic like whatever like a uh, megaphone voiceover audio thing that I was doing before. So you're just going to have to deal with my real voice. 
Okay, so here are some apple strudels that I ate like a lot of throughout the week, but they were part of my breakfast. They are so addicting, I'm telling you guys. So, so good. Um, I think they're from Meyer. And then I was gonna eat this as like the main part of my breakfast, but then I just like didn't really like it very much. Although I usually do like it. It's like bulgogi chicken rice from um, Costco. So I ate like half of it. Um, you know, there's like carrot and uh, edamame, broccoli. Okay, so then I also ate some a few pieces of Chinese grapefruit. While I was making lunch, I got a little peckish, so I ate another one of these little pineapple cake dessert thingies. Um, yeah, I guess I ate like a couple throughout this week, like four. And then, so for lunch, I made ramen, except it's like not actually ramen. It's like Chinese ramen. It's like Chinese instant noodles. And um, I always like poach an egg with it. This egg was so good. It was perfect. It was like half liquid, half solid. And like the flavoring for this packet of noodles was chicken and mushroom. And then I also ate bamboo shoots with it just to spice it up even more. And it was so good. I love bamboo shoots. Go buy yourself some bamboo shoots. And then in the afternoon, I got hungry, so I ate an apple and I forgot to film it when the apple was complete. So here's this like gross clip of a half eaten apple. Um, yeah, it's a Fuji apple. Fiji, Fuji apple? And then for dinner, we had like glass noodles with spam and homemade meatballs and um, I forget what that's called, those vegetables, like Chinese vegetables. It was like a soup sort of thing. And then we also had some of this like meat. It's my mom's friend like dropped it off. And then in the nighttime, I got hungry again. So I toasted a piece of whole wheat bread. And then as you're gonna see in a second, as I stop showing you how I slightly burnt the toast, I spread some, yeah, just I just spread some processed peanut butter on top of that. And then I also ate these strawberries, which I wasn't planning on doing, but um, like they were kind of going bad. So I was just like, yeah. I'm just gonna eat them. They were surprisingly good. Okay, so for breakfast, I ate what's called xiaolongbao. So they're like not the same thing as baozi, but they have like, well, actually, I'm not even sure if they're xiaolongbao. They they're like tangbao. They have like, um, like soup inside of them. Oh, there's my finger. And then I also had a little bit of sliced kiwi that was a little sour. It was like a little zesty or whatever. It made my tongue hurt a little. Um, yeah, you know how kiwi can be like that. And it really sucks, but um, it looks really pretty. And it was still pretty good. I don't regret eating it. And then for lunch, I made the family some like sandwiches. I like toasted the bread with butter and there was roast beef and pickle and um, lettuce and provolone, except I could like not taste the cheese. But anyways, yeah, that's like the last two bites of it. And then I also had some more grapes. I really like grapes. I have them a lot throughout the week, as you can see. But yeah, here are these grapes. Um, so for dinner, I had some more meat from yesterday and then tomatoes and eggs. If you never had stir fried tomatoes and eggs, it's like my favorite dish ever. It's so good. And um, it's on top of a bed of white rice. And then after that, I ate another pineapple cake thingy because yeah, they're just, they're good. I really like the texture more than the flavor, to be honest. And then my sister made some chocolate chip cookies and I went downstairs to try them. And honestly, they were like, not good. They were like, so like hard. They were like rock hard. And then they also just tasted like pure sugar, but thanks Julie anyways. <laughs> We have reached friday i was gonna do saturday too but then i got a little tired of filming like 10 seconds of every meal so i ate some toast with some peanut butter and that's apple pear and then um these oranges and then i also had a bowl of oatmeal for like the first time in years and i just put some like frozen berries in it i didn't eat all of this i just couldn't it was like not as good as i thought and then for lunch my mom made some chow mein or like as you know from pan express chow mein <laughs> it was just stir fried noodles with um uh, i forget what they're called bean sprouts and more of that like dried meat and then i had a little tangerine after um lunch well like with lunch 
and then for dinner we had hot pot which it's basically like a giant like pot of boiling water and then you throw a bunch of like raw ingredients into it like raw meat and tofu and lettuce and um spam tomatoes so yeah we had that it was like the grand finale of the week and that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching what i eat in a week don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next week peace <laughs>